Today, this video is kind of a second part of a video I did a couple videos ago um, about this boat right here. The Sea Nymph Fishing Freaking Machine. And I've got a lot of work to do. Part of that is also repairing the floor. Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? Oh. It's just, man. Yeah, there's no way I would have. Yeah, putting board over this would have just doubled the weight. And this stuff needs some air. Ants about to rain, hip hip hooray. Mm. I got cars going by and they're like, what is this guy doing at six o'clock in the morning? I'm filming. My original plan was to take some plywood like this, cut out a certain dimensions and just lay it over the existing floor because it's soft. And the thinking behind that was that I can then take it out, see that it's, it floats, see that the engine runs, um, the steering, um, everything, lights, electrical, wanted to make sure everything is working uh, before I dump a whole bunch of money into it repairing the floor, but things have changed guys Okay, so I just vacuumed out the boat and yes I did use my home vacuum cleaner the shop vac was just super loud and it's early in the morning here Guys, here is the finished the finished product here, guys. I had to take the seat off because it is falling apart and came with an extra prop. But you can just tell it just looks so much better than it did before. Got all the leaves out of there except one. So my thought process while I was cleaning this out was, you know, how hard would it be to just pull out the boards? and replace them. I know it's not gonna be that hard. My whole thing is I don't have the budget to put in marine grade wood or even um, like a fiberglass um, hybrid type thing that people are putting in nowadays. And also even the carpet. I, don't, I really don't have the budget for carpet right now. But if you look in here, every place that's got an X, every place that has an X throughout this whole thing, those are soft spots, pretty soft spots. So I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and rip up some of this carpet and just see what it would take to just replace some of this wood, if not all of it. These do, these do not look hard to take out. Um, I've already taken this off and repaired um, the, the throttle cable that was going to the engine. So I might just go ahead and peel some carpet back. Knowing me, once I pull the carpet back on this, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna try and actually repair the floor now and see how it goes. Because I don't have another boat right now. I'm ready to get back on the water. So I might as well do it right from the beginning. And so that's what I'm going to do. So, yep. <laughs> that's the seat that you give your, your one of your uh, friends. But here's the other one. Still, still very... You give that seat to one of your better friends. <laughs> All right, guys, so this corner came up really easily. You guys see that? I mean, it's still... Oof. Yeah, this is gonna be a big job. So I'm gonna kind of accelerate this. All right, so this it, stuff is just ripping up.
it doesn't look like it's gonna take long for me to get this wood out of here and you know I know some people might say it's trash here or whatever but this carpet is not really ripping and I might let it dry out a little bit and at least temporarily put it over the new wood um, until I figure something else out it's only been a few minutes but I've been able to kind of save this carpet in a way uh, it doesn't look the best but it's not it's not ripping apart but I've you can just just look how bad this wood is guys you kind of see I took out that uh, seat console and I've got this I've got this console it's about ready to come out guys just being honest I don't want to I don't want to disconnect too much I want to just kind of I, I already I already loosened it so I can kind of get it off the ground and I think I've got one I got one Phillips set of course um, I mean of course one flathead I've got more everything else is Phillips head on this thing except one thing All right, guys, I just raised the whole boat up like two feet so that we can get some water draining out of here. Obviously, it looks like it's plugged up. There you go. Just so that all this isn't setting and wet. And do I pick the day to do projects? Probably can't tell, but it's really coming down good out here, guys. That's not sound effects. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna last for a couple hours. So I'm gonna try and find some legit plywood. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait just a little bit, I think. Guys, look who showed up. Nick is behind me. We're about to what head. Up? We are about to head and grab a piece of plywood, some staples. Taking um, a break from work to go do this. Yeah, he's been here working. Crunching numbers on the clock. And he's been here working in the garage, staying busy. But here is the cleaned out boat now. Got a lot of that sticks out of there and you'll notice it's no lightning there's no thunder or rain and it's actually i'm gonna allow that to dry out just a little bit and uh we were just looking over the engine a little bit so we're gonna go grab that plywood and i've got the carpet out here magic carpets out here drying and it's it's just about dry so i'm gonna go get some glue staples plywood and we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna te test the engine um, while everything else still continues to dry okay so I went ahead and put the carpet back on the new plywood and I'm gonna cut the holes out for the seats there's one two and then this up here is gonna be a drain so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out that's that's the next step The fish in the boat, the live well. Yeah. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I cut down this uh, new piece of plywood in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the circles for the seats. There's one here and one there. Uh, my kids decided to go ahead and color on it as well. So, 
After I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it a few times with some exterior, I guess some exterior paint. Um, really kind of try and waterproof it that way. And uh, then I'm going to put the carpet on it. So hopefully that will be the end of the day for me. I'm getting a little bit tired. All right guys, here's the plywood. It's got the holes cut in it for the seat, seat mounts and also the drain. I went ahead and did go ahead and seal it with some um, Thompson's water seal. So I'm gonna let that sit for about 10 more minutes. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna soak it pretty good in the water sealant. And then I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it with a latex paint for exterior, um, kind of weatherproofing it even more. Uh, hopefully, I put this in the boat and everything lines up and I can look at that engine another day. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this uh, black turns out. All right, this boat is ready for a floor. Look at that. It's all black, but I put a, a clear waterproof down on it first, let that dry for a little bit, put a weather sealer on it as well. And that's on the both the top, bottom and sides. And then this is just an exterior um, latex paint. Like I said, I've got all the, I got the holes cut, got the carpet ready. I'm ready for this to be done. Right, there it is finished product I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for all of today but some people some people might have thought I went a little crazy with the staples but I should have bought more glue but um, I think it'll be fine 
I think it'll, I think it'll be just fine. Guys, I just got back from having to run a couple errands, and it's been bugging me. I want to see, I want to see if this fits. I want to see if these holes line up. I want to see. Uh, I just want to. I want to be able to stand on that floor and be able to figure out other problems in the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this in the boat now. Um, I will say one thing: if I could do it differently, I, I would have gotten like four more glue sticks. And I wouldn't have spread it out at all. I would have just left globs of it on there because um, this carpet's old and uh, you need as much glue as you can. But, I mean, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be fine. If I need to rip it up in a year or two, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, all I know is that the wood is good to go. So I'm going to try and fit this back in the boat. And hopefully those holes line up for the seat. Um... It's not the end of the world if they don't. I can always get in there and, uh, with a jigsaw or something and make something happen. But uh, trying to see if my uh, tape measuring is on point. I know the circles aren't super round, but I mean, guys, if you guys can get get, get a look at this uh, I, at this sealer, if you guys can see that, I mean, even every sealer i used i i every sealer i used i shoved in and around those holes guys so any way water can get in i tried to stop it so i'm gonna see if i can get that on the boat and hopefully it lines up and then that way i can drop the console down and get the seat back in there and get things back to normal so i can start looking at the electrical and the engine of course is the next thing uh, that's coming up Oh my, oh my, dude, it's, whew. something just fell down, oh. but guys, you can't get any better than that, look at that, look at this one, and of course here is the drain, for this right here to go on. Oh, look at how close it is, guys. Oh, and it feels so good. Hey, don't look at me weird. <laughs> My daughter's like, what the heck is he enjoying so much? No, I've got a, how solid how solid this is. So that was a success. I don't have to cut anything more. I do got to rescue some wires over here though. They got pinched during the process. So uh, bear with me. Let's see if we get it to hit right. Right there. Sweet. All right, guys, this is the actual like seat and compartment combo. Super secure. I just need to go ahead and, and cut out a piece of wood that I could use as a lid and also put a seat on top of it or use it as a seat up until now. I'm sweating a little bit, but it's coming along.
It's gonna be so nice to have some solid, just solid things to stand on in here. This only took like a matter of, you know, five, 10 minutes. You know, we got this thing back. Again, I, I do need to figure out something for that, but guys, I'm about to drop this and, uh, and then I'm done with this project. Uh, moving on to the motor after I drop that. Okay, so one thing I forgot to talk about is um, marking the uh, basically the metal underneath the wood so that you know where to screw in uh, some screws to I went ahead and used the sharpie there's another one there there's another one right there and even in the front there's one right there there's gonna be metal running across this way and if I can be and it's about an inch wide a little over an inch wide so I marked everywhere that there was somewhere that I can tap um, like a wood to metal screw into self tapping so that you can kind of get it down in the middle. So basically all around the sides in here, there is a, about a one inch lip. So I can go around and I'm only gonna probably do like 20, 20, maybe 20 screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and free this guy. All right, one project is done. <laughs> this is kind of cool. one project is done. Uh, next project is going to be this engine. I think it's gonna, it's gonna need some, uh, a couple of new hoses and uh, an impeller, possibly. We'll see how much water's coming out. This is how I did it. Now I don't know how long this carpet's gonna last, but I do know that it's very solid. One final thought would be this is that if you got a half inch plywood going down with some sort of carpet um one in and a one inch self-tapping screw is gonna not mm, i had a one inch it was fairly thin and i only used a few of them i'm gonna have to go back through i'm gonna get like maybe one and a quarter maybe a little bit thicker maybe something a little bit it's something a little bit closer to this right here so I would go more like one and a quarter uh, just to screw it down because I, I do feel like it, where where it's touching rails. But guys, this is so much better. That was quick. I tacked it in two days. I stayed up and you shouldn't do that, but it's bad. It's bad for you. But um, I'm excited to get working on this engine, guys, and also look forward to part three, which is going to be us fixing this motor, seeing if this boat actually floats and seeing if, it, if all the pumps work, um, just everything, lights, electrical. So, love you guys, Catfish KC is out. About to give her a good old test. About to try the engine out, Let's see what we got. The engine's gonna need some work, but um, not too much though, not too much. No, it's run, it wants to run, so. And it, and it so we took off uh, this little section. Uh, this is from the water inlet or outlet. And so this, I mean, this tiny motor doesn't pump too much water, but this tube was filled with ants and ant larvae. Ugh. So that's why it was clogged. We took this off, started spitting out water. Can you imagine being so full of ants and just bugs that Gross. that water with pressure behind it wasn't pushing them out? That's crazy. And Nick is, knows what he is a doing right i don't really i've just i just got done doing this on my boat and i've, I've rebuilt a couple motors but i'm a i'm a learning work in progress He's youtube a, youtube is my best friend for learning how to do things yes youtube is my best friend too that's, that's why we have a channel my only friend <laughs> <laughs> this might be the end of part one or might be the end of part one this yeah might be the end of part two this is going to be the end of i guess part two part one of working on the boat 
first one was just the intro, I guess. Made, he, and by the way, Matt stayed up in fashion all night long to work on this, so it's, it's actually coming. You'll be able to tell by the video because I start it and it's dark and then it's like, it starts, it starts to get light Time again. lapse of the sun rising up there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. All right, let's start oh, measuring. Let's get a measure. 